Hello and welcome back to Women's Football Talk, the YouTube channel that brings you all the latest news and stories. Now before we get into today's video, make sure you hit that subscribe button with post notifications turned on so you never miss a video. And obviously today it is Friday so that is the return of our transfer news update where we'll bring you all the latest news and stories that have happened in the transfer world. So let's start off with Manchester City who have had a busy last seven days. They've made three signings over this past week. Uh, all players coming from the Spanish League coming over here to play in the WSL. So we have Dana Castellanos who joins on a three year deal, Leila Wahabi who also joins Manchester City on a two year deal and then uh, Leila Alexandri on a three year deal as well. So they are three pieces of transfer that Manchester City have done. Now, Obviously there had been a lot of fans worrying that because of some of the transfer players that are leaving Manchester City or have been rumoured to leave Manchester City uh, it was going to be a worry uh, this summer but Gareth Taylor's plans have obviously came out into good fruition as he's got three players in already and the window isn't officially open until the 17th of June here in the WSL so getting right underway to the business So, and it's obviously going to be a long window Obviously, there's going to be a bit of a pause as well with the Euro, so don't be too worried yet, Manchester City fans. Chelsea themselves have announced two transfers this past week. Um, Ev Perisette from Bordeaux, she was the first signing uh, of the week on a three-year deal earlier on this week. And then today on Friday morning, Kadisha Buchanan, Champions League winner and Liege 1 winner with Lyon this past season, has also signed on a three-year deal until 2025. So a good bit of early business for Emma Hayes' side as they look to build on last season's success of winning the FA Cup and the WSL and hopefully going better in Europe. Uh, elsewhere, Sarah de Britz has joined Lyon from PSG on a three-year deal. Um, de Britz's contract is set to come out to an end at the end of this month at PSG, so it will be a free transfer. Atletico Madrid have signed Irene Guerrero from Levante on a three-year deal. So again, Guerrero, another player whose contract was coming to an end at the end of this month, is joining um, Atletico Madrid. Bayern Munich have announced that Jana Domjanovic has signed a new deal to remain at Bayern Munich until 2025. Again, good deal for uh, the runners-up this season in the Bundesliga as they look to close the gap to uh, Wolfsburg this past season. Barcelona have announced three deals this past week. Leila Kadina, who had spent last season on loan at AC Milan, has signed a new two-year deal to remain with the club until 2024. Gemma Font has also signed a deal until 2024, the goalkeeper. And Anna Maria Sonogorcevic again has also signed a deal until 2024 to remain uh, with Jonathan Heraldas side. So a very good piece of business there by, uh, by uh, Barcelona getting these three players tied down. Jem Beattie has signed a new contract with Arsenal. Um, she will also be taking up a mentorship role in the academy, guiding the next generation of talent. So that's a good bit of... Uh, news for Arsenal. Uh, today they also released that they are ongoing talks with uh, Lydia Williams over signing a new deal. Um, she would be a free agent if she was to uh, not sign uh, with Arsenal this summer so um, again this is one that could literally take right up until the start of the season or even past it when the deadline comes because obviously it's not something they need to get done and dusted quickly with the likes of Manuela Zinsberger and uh, Franz Stenson already at the club, so it's not something too worrying to press on about for Jonas Ardeval and co. So yeah, they are the transfer news of this past week, and um, obviously anything else that happens past today, um, midday, will be uh, reported on next week's show. Uh, but make sure you are following us on Twitter and Instagram, links to both uh, in the top line of the description so you never miss out on a video and keep up to date with all the news uh, that happens in the world of transfers. And until then, we will see you next time. Mm -hmm.